Okay, welcome back. So, in in FS11, I have a, a random encounter for some bed battles, and, I, and I'm happy with that. And um, that's going to be, you know, just a good test of tactical uh, of uh, tactics, tactical abilities for a party. But at this point, I am pretty comfortable with my ability to assess a party's strengths. And rather than give an, a detached encounter, um, I would like to have something tailored specifically for at least one of the PCs in the party. So uh, in, in the previous volumes, uh, I, I called these um, encounter galleries. And that's, that's fine. Um, here, I, it, but I'm, I'm cycling back through. Those, those will all be finished um, in, in a couple of volumes, and so I'm going to have to add a new set of these additional encounters. And to differentiate them, I'm calling them side, side quests, which is kind of a, a typical term. <laughs> it implies greater utility than, than they are, because in addition to uh, the replacing the random quest, they can also be an, an additional encounter on, on the beginning or the end of a module. Or you could string together several of them uh, if you were trying to maintain XP to get some PCs up to a certain level. All right, so I have a little bit of a format that I'm using with these side quests. Um, but first, I need to decide what I'm going to do. All right, so in the party, uh, the, the players that have been there since, since the earliest, that would be the ones I want. To, and so one of those is a Shatter Kai lore master so what could be after a shadow shadow kind lore master so something from the shadow fell right it could be it could be seen as uh, someone who is luring uh, peace you know otherwise useful assets away from the shadow fell but I don't think so last um, last episode I actually had one tailored to that Shatter Kai, <coughs> um, the Inquisition responded to him because he's a, he's a wizard and he's from the Shadowfell. So they they investigated him. They got through that. So I would really rather have one for one of the other two longtime PCs. All right. So one of those is an Asimar. He he actually he had a character who was a Dragonborn die, um, and rather than have him raised, he wanted that character. Wanted to create a new character that was like uh, inspired by that paladin's death um, to return and wreak vengeance. So he's a he's a vengeful Asimar. Last episode, kind of as a sort of a little test of his uh, of this Asimar paladin's convictions, I presented him with the opportunity to establish a cult, right? So uh, and he rejected that. He he wants to set up a legitimate uh, order within the one true faith um, and that could lend itself to some angles uh, maybe someone will be uh, angry at at that maybe someone someone would see that as a dilution of their authority and power I think an Asmodeus who is a recent uh, entry into the web but also Gratz has some plans going forward and he might object to an Asimar paladin uh, working strongly within the one true faith. Um, and then finally, I, there's a guy who has a really interesting character. Um, it's called a um, a slivel, sl silva, silva. They're like plant humanoids. He got he he, he has a really good backstory. The, the character was launched on his adventuring career by because their mother tree, which is like the heart of their community was polluted by hags. And I would really like to build one around that. And to do that, uh, what can I, I, I have to use something on the other end, I'm thinking blights, right? So if I could send blights at him, um, he, he, right, so he would, the, the point being he has inspired these otherwise, uh, non-threatening slivers uh, with as the and and this actually is congruent he he actually attracted a couple of 
tribal warrior slivers in the um, in the last episode. So I'm thinking that's pretty right. I'm thinking that yeah, if we can present him with some blights, uh, who uh, and uh, I, I know I'm using terms here that I'm and I'm presuming that people know them. Um, so you might want to look them up. So within the blights, we've got um, needle blights who are archers, but they're only CR one fourth. And we've got twig blights who are uh, even less. We've got vine blights who are CR one half. So blights are a little underpowered for eleventh level, but we do have this thing, this, these awakened trees, right, and awakened bushes. Um, so maybe we can adapt an awakened tree to be a uh, to be a, a big blight that would be we're looking for something in about the CR 3 range um, to build on uh, it was on the awakened 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 tree yeah awakened tree is CR 2 and we you've already learned from the um, from the uh, Bandit captains that a C, that two CR twos for PC is a medium challenge. So yeah, we might be able to do that. We they're huge. We want to take them down. Uh, so because because they are blights and not awakened trees, we we can take them and make them uh, make them uh, a just medium even. So, um, and then we will add, we can use their false appearance. Yeah, so they can get surprised. Um, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with using awakened trees. I'm probably gonna add a poison effect to them. Yeah, something that will, uh, Yeah. Uh, all right. So jumping in here. Uh, right. So placing the quests. Um, so as merely medium uh, creatures, the await or the uh, tree blights. Infiltrate areas with their false appearance. Um, and um, they can be a plague uh, they can be the result of hags weird magic which ties them into the um, uh, or they could be uh, could be um, uh, how would you call, what would you call that? Um, not conjured, created, I guess created. Created by a dark power sent on a mission. Uh, okay, so that's how we're gonna get him in there. We're going to do this, uh, if you look at, we can, then this, this can work for both the river journey or the overland journey because the river journey will be uh, along the river and they will be putting in at ports along the way where the flights could attack um, ultimately if they're going overland that's fine okay All right so uh, background lights and I'm just going to put in a um, from corrupted plants in a dark magic equivalent to awakening. 
right, so, but we do need some red lad text, so we're going to read something aloud to the PCs. Um, the morning is clear, is, is comfortable, because that can be used. The morning is comfortable. And oh, you know what? Let me look here. Yeah. And nothing seems out of place till the trees around you. Shutter. That's a good one. All right. So uh, we know there's going to be. There are two tree bites Tree bites for a PC. So now we're going to go out to Cobalt Fight Club and make sure that's the case. Double check that. So. Oops, that's not right. I don't have Don John's it's in the Cobalt Fight Club. There we go. I got a lot going on on my processor, so this, it may be a little slow loading. Meantime, let me go back out here. I don't know. There we go. All right, so we got uh, one level 11. We'll just grab any random CR2 here and make sure. Uh, well, that's not right. So two for one, four for two, six for three, eight for four, ten for five, twelve for six. Yeah, so we are good to go. Yeah, at eight we get to hard, but that's okay. All right, so going back to our tree blight. All right, so we've got a tree blight. Tree. See, so this is an awakened tree. And it's on Monster Manual page. Open trees, page 317. Uh, all right, so we are not going to mess with hit points, 59 hit points. Uh, so interestingly, on the um, hit points, we, it says 59. We could take that, that up to 69 and without a change in CR. And the reason I point out 69 is that would be one legendary resistance for a CR 1 through 5 or 1, one through 4. So we may get it. Right, so we're going to give it an option, optional. Uh, we're going to increase its speed, though. Lights, this, these guys. Oh, we, we, okay. So we need to make it medium as well. So this needs to be a medium plant neutral. Uh, not going to do anything to the hit points. Speed, we're going to change to 20. I mean, sorry, from 20 to 30. Um, right, and then um, if we're going to run an encounter. We're going to go ahead and uh, put a sidebar. Yeah, faults, appearance. And surprise. I don't like to use surprise a lot. I think I've mentioned that before, but it does seem to be appropriate here. These guys seem to be built for surprise, right? They're false appearance. Like you know, you're just walking by a tree and suddenly it attacks you. Um, uh, so speed 30, we're going to speed 30. Um, Mm 
Then, uh, saving throws. We're going to add some optional saving throws. We're going to increase its weakest saving throws, which are charisma, and we will do wisdom. So, give it proficiency in wisdom, making that plus two, charisma, make that to minus one. It's still a bad charisma, but that's, or I'm sorry, plus zero. Okay. Skills. We can give it some skills. Or the it's a it's a tree. We'll go ahead and give it skills and athletics. Which would be uh two six plus six and uh nature. The uh, survival. There we go. Um, challenging the enchantment. So uh, I'm going to give it a um, uh, I'm going to give it an attack rider. Um, I'm going to say um, any PC hit by the lights slam is grappled. Escape. EC 16. And it comes from the athletics plus 10. Uh, escape. Uh, then we're going to have poison sap. Uh, um, any creature, let's see, how are we going to do that? We're going to say any creature hit with the blights slam is sub must Succeed on a DC fourteen. Uh, we go fifteen. Constant. Now we'll, we'll go for two. It needs to be fourteen. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to change this to fourteen as well. Uh, so it will be eight plus the athletics check. Um, or be poisoned for one minute while poisoned. What I'm doing is I'm dupl duplicating carrying crawler mucus for the most part. Uh, the creature is paralyzed. The creature can reattempt the failed save at the end of its turn. If the creature uh, suffers slashing damage, every creature within actually we're going to call it, yeah, every non plant. Non plant creature. Non plant creature within five feet. Is subjected to be sap. Okay. Uh, do we want any magic enhancements? I don't think so. I don't think that blights would be running around. I don't think they would have any friendly spell casters. Um, they don't even have any spell casting. They wouldn't have any gear. Uh, and we don't need a second. I, I, I keep these two in this kind of skeleton 
Um, all right. <laughs> there, that should be some good plants to go after um, the Sliva PC. Save that. So, uh, at this point, I will print off the adventure, the module, and um, what we're going to oh, call this, uh, we're going to call this make subverted nature. Is the name of that, that side quest. Um, yeah, so at this point, we will, uh, I, I would print off the, uh, the side quest and the adventure, and, um, and we are ready to run it. So I will have the results of that uh, in a few days. Thanks for checking in.